Well, hello everyone. I'm Bishop Susan, Bishop of Niagara, and I'm looking forward to being with you at your Synod in May. As you know, it'll be a different kind of Synod for a different kind of time. We all know that we're in a liminal time, poised at a crossroads. Behind us lies a seismic event, the pandemic, and before us lies the present and the future of our church. We know that things have changed. We know the landscape is now different. And so we're doing what Christians have always done. We're going to through prayer and scripture and by asking some searching questions and doing some deep listening to the answers that come, discern a way forward together. And I know that as Jesus has promised, he'll be with us in this work. Now, as a start on this journey, we have a few questions to discuss together. I know Bishop Michael gave you one last month, and so here's my question to contemplate. If you read the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 1 to 8, you'll recognize the old, old story. Jesus sent the disciples out among the people to demonstrate God's love by meeting their needs through practical acts of healing and spiritual peacemaking. The disciples came alongside and joined God's mission of love in this world. Importantly, the disciples went out. Now in your own context, in your own beloved parish, how and where might we go out to our communities and engage the spiritual and practical needs of the people instead of expecting them to come to us? And this is a really important question. It'll begin to prepare us for, for more questions and more conversations that will lead us to a new sense of mission and purpose. That will be, I hope, what you leave Synod with, a renewed sense of mission. I'm excited to go on this journey with you and to enter a new space, one that's full of possibility, where we trust our own process with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, which is bounded by scripture and prayer and a lot of constructive critical thinking. This is a sacred undertaking and one that for most of us is long overdue. So I pray that this process will bless us all, awaken in us the possibilities of faith in our Lord Jesus and the possibilities of the outworkings of that faith in our communities. I'm really looking forward to being with you and to discerning where we're being called. Let us pray. Lord God, renew your church and begin with us. Heal our land, tend our wounds, and make us one. And use us for your service. For Jesus Christ's sake, Lord of the church, make us the church of the Lord. Amen. Amen.